How's going? Today I'll show you how to get the VStream Fire app to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. The whole process is actually pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the first step you gotta take is getting the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. And you can get Downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on the Fire Stick and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Click on it, and now that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it is not over yet, because you still need to set it up. So now, in order to set up Downloader on the Fire Stick, we'll have to go to settings on your device. To do so, we go and click on that button with a gear icon, and then click on My Fire TV. Open it. And now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make one appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And now, finally, we go back to the list of apps on your device, open it up, and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on the Fire Stick. But before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say they'll connect to Serbia right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the downloader safely. So let's go back to the list of apps on your device, open it up, and then go straight to downloader. Open it, and now what you have to do in here is just open the search bar, and there we will need to enter a code, which will be 402844. So once again, it's 402. 844, that is the whole code that you need to enter, then click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the download of the app has started, and after it was downloaded, you of course also have to install it to your device, 
So click install and now Streamfire will finish installing to the Fire TV stick. After that, click on done and there you also get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick does not really have too much of free space available anyway. And now let's go to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, open it up and there's the Stream Fire application. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online when using such apps. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.